Fernando come in? Uh oh. Right away. Yes. Hey, when you get a chance, I'm not sure. Um, can you look at, or can you possibly maybe start the router um, by 2:16? The guest called down this morning, stating that it's been um, cutting in and out and since last night. Okay, I'll take a look at it. All right, thank you. And just like that, guys, it's Friday. You heard it. As soon as I press record on the button, on the video, the calls are coming in. But it should be an interesting one today. Let's go. All right, guys. So I went to the front desk. I checked the, the computer because we have new Wi-Fi. So there's routers all over the, the hallways. And all the routers look good. So what I'm going to do right now is call the guests and see if uh, what exactly the issue is. <clears throat> Hello? Hey, good morning. It's the maintenance department. Yeah. Yes, how you doing? Um, I'm looking at the router. So you have a problem with the Wi-Fi? Yeah. So what now? Uh, you know, you say you're not connected to the internet. Okay, um, is it under the, the Quinta? Yeah. Okay, did you try to reset your phone or your computer? Yeah. Okay, because I'm looking at the system and, and we have Wi-Fi. Um, Okay, um, do you mind if I go up and take a look? Sure. Okay, I'll be right up, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, that was a simple fix. So the problem was that <clears throat> she's working out of uh, a laptop. It was a PC laptop. And um, she also has an iPad, uh, uh, Apple iPad, and her phone, which is, I think, is a Galaxy. So the Galaxy had... Uh, the the phone had plenty of Wi-Fi. Her iPad had perfect Wi-Fi. But the problem with her laptop is that she was um she was putting the wrong um Wi-Fi. The it, it was not even from the hotel, it was something else, so she couldn't it was going in and out. So I just told her, You have the wrong setting, you have the wrong Wi-Fi and it we hit it, worked perfectly fine. Easy fix. On to the next one. All right, guys, quick update on the leaking circulator pump there. Uh, so I called the plumbers and um, they should be coming in today. So that's why I was here a little extra early because they said they'd come in between 7.30 and 8 o'clock. It's uh, right now it's about 7.45 or so. So we're good. But um, I specifically asked for one of my buddies He's a great plumber because I just don't trust just anybody doing this stuff. Banana, come in. Oh my God! Hold on one second. Let's... Yes. Hey, Peterson, can you come down to the front uh, when you get a chance? Uh, you need to put some uh, signs up for the bus parking in the back. Okay, give me a minute. All right. All right, so. So I called, uh, I requested my, my buddy. He's a great plumber and I trust him. So he should be coming. But right now I got to put some private parking for some buses, as you heard. Let's go. All right, guys. So I blocked off these parking spots because uh, they're reserved for some buses that are coming, like a group or something. So hopefully People obey the law, so I got three, three of them, so we should be fine. We took care of that. We're waiting for the plumbers. Um, I also have a very special delivery coming in today, so if it comes, I'll show you what that is. And we're just working on, we're just waiting on work orders. That's it. Let's go, Friday, baby. Let's do it. The pool was a little low, so I put water but every time you put fresh water you got to put chlorine but before we put any chlorine i'm going to backwash and i'm going to do everything to the pool and i'm going to show you how to do it 
let's go. All right, guys, before we backwash, we gotta turn off the system. We'll do that right now. Wash. Push it down. Beautiful. Let's go outside and see if it's backwashing. There we go, guys. It's backwashing. All right. So let's backwash it, and then we'll put some chlorine on the pool. So it's been uh, about five to ten, maybe like seven minutes. So I'm, that's pretty good backwashing. It didn't need a lot. So. Now we put it back to filter. Beautiful. And we'll turn the system back on. Beautiful. Now we're pumping some chlorine there as well. That's the chlorine right there. Our pressures went back up nice. That one's going up. Alright, on to the next. Everything looking good. Motor's looking good. On to the next. Also, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but make sure you fill the pool first before you put the, the chlorine. You know, get it to the level that you want it in the pool. Then you backwash and do what you gotta do and then you put the chlorine last. That's it. I'd set it up for about 10 to 12 minutes so I could pump uh, the chlorine, and that's it, it'll stop automatically. But you know me, I'm gonna double check it that it stopped, because you never know, you never know. There's a problem with one of the TVs. I'm not sure what it is, but we'll find out right now. Let's go. All right guys, as you can see, we have uh, no signal. So what happens is when the guest comes with their Xbox or PlayStation, whatever, they go back here and they disconnect the HDMI, which is in the cable. And of course, you see, they put it in the wrong slot. It's supposed to be on one. So we'll take it off, put it on one. That's it. That cable. Let me check it with the remote. Oh boy. Everything's working perfect. All right, guys, on to the next one. Simple fix. The plumber's here. That's my buddy. He got the part. He's installing it now. So he's doing his thing. But we just got a call. One of the doors. Um, It's hard to open or the, the handle. Something about the door. So let's go check it out and see what we got. All right, guys, <clears throat> we're here in the room. We're gonna check the lock, I already came in. It was a little tough, so I'm gonna double check it. But it's crazy today. We got the the Wi-Fi guy doing the finishing touches on the network. We have um, the plumber, he just came in. And, Hello, we, and we also have uh, the sprinkler guy testing out the sprinkler system. So it is it's a madhouse, as you can hear. Let's, let's check the room. I'm sorry. Let's check the door. See what we got. All right. So once we, it kind of like you have to really press it down the handle to open it. All right. Let's see what we got on the other side. Well, this is good. It's pretty flushed. It's not perfect, but um, it could either be right here. I just gotta hammer this in a little bit more, or this right here, as you can see. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this one, especially the one in the bottom, look. You see how it's out a little bit? Yeah, so let's try to tighten these. <clears throat> A little 
screws and now we'll do the other side all right let's test it out still a little bit still a little bit we're gonna i'm gonna try to hammer this part right here all right guys so i figured out the problem this part right here that's from the clutch um is rubbing against this part right here i'll show you right now let's see if i can yeah right there all right it's hard to tell from here but as you can see you see that is not going above is just rubbing against it right there and that's why it's getting stuck i hope you guys could pick that up but you see what i'm saying it's like almost half it's supposed to be higher so what we're gonna do is just gonna cut that little piece off you see what i'm saying right there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut this little piece just a little piece so that the clutch could fall right in there and um, also I'm gonna cut a little bit off of that one hey, water, okay so we're in the shop so as you can see that's gonna be our mark because that's where it was rubbing so we're just gonna trim it down as much as we can probably on the, right there and just go down the line there all right so i'm just going to move this over and we'll start cutting all right guys so i had to get medieval with this as you can see i made it flush with this and i cut this piece off here and it's nice and sturdy so it's not going anywhere Okay, so just made room so that piece could just slide right in. Check it out. Okay, now we open it. Oh, smooth as a baby's butt. Yep, let's try it one more time. We're golden, baby. We're golden. All right, so what I'm just gonna do is just gonna sand this down so we'll have no sharp edges. And that's it. It's non-stop today, guys. Just finished that door. Just got a call that uh, one of the P-Tex doesn't have power. Let's go check it out. Okay, guys, so we're here in the P-Tex and we don't have no power. So let's check underneath the connection. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's loose, very loose. Let's get it in there real good. light is back on and let's see if it works I think it was just loose oh water sound coming that's it beautiful yeah now we set it up and she's on that's it on to the next one all right we got a sink that is straining very slowly so let's go check that out but before we do we go check up on my buddy the plumber let's go we're making out Tough time, I'm sure it was now, but, oh, yeah? Yeah. It's a pain in the butt, huh? Yeah. Alrighty. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Okay. Here we are in the sink. Straining slowly, they said. Let's see. Alright, let's back it up. get that cap off and let's see what we got it's definitely draining slow don't make fun of my gloves guys they order the wrong gloves so i have to use this <laughs> all right of course we got a brand new let's see what we can get out of here let's see what we get all right guys we got it there was that nasty ass thing right there down. 
Alright guys, we got it good. It's running a lot of hot water. We got it good. We got it good. On to the next one. Alright guys, quick tip. They just finished cleaning this room. As you can see, it's nice and clean. So if they ever call you for a room that's clean and you're doing something like this and you're making a mess, make sure you clean after yourself, man. It's very important because they don't have time to be coming back and cleaning after you. It's just proper etiquette, okay? That's all, make it nice and shiny the best that you can, like I was never here. All right, guys, we reached the end of the day. And uh, real quick, uh, like, you, like I don't know if you heard me on the last video with the sink, but every time housekeeping cleans the room and they call you and they call you for a, something, especially like a sink that is clogged that you know that you're gonna make a mess, guys, always clean up after yourself. I mean, yeah, they could go and clean up afterward because they're gonna check, but at least do an effort to, so they could see that you, you try, at least you tried to clean, you know what I mean? Um, because if you leave a mess behind, it doesn't, it doesn't look right. They, they're they going to look at you like, oh, now I got to go and clean up after him after I told him to do this. You know what I mean? Make a good impression. Always make a good impression. And that's it. All right, guys. Hope you liked the video. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and of course, tell a friend to tell a friend about the Zumo Vlogs. Oh, and by the way, the, 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 that delivery, that the, can't even talk to them. The delivery that I promised you didn't come today, all right? So it might come tomorrow, and that will be tomorrow's video. You're going to like it. You're going to like it. All right, guys? Have a good one, and I'll see you tomorrow, Saturday. Let's do it. Peace.